Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on for my unboxing video for Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft for the month of November. So I have the papers that I've been given to use for the month plus my chosen product. Of course, all of these will be on sale for the month of November, so check them out and grab yourself a bargain. Um, so the theme this month is The Man Who Won. So that's a very interesting one. A little bit cryptic too, so I'm going to have to put some thought into this month. So I think I'll show you the papers first. Now I have taken everything out of the box just to make it a bit easier. So these are the papers I've got to work with. It's the Tim Holtz Ideology um, Dapper, it is, collection. I'm really excited about this because I haven't actually used much Tim Holtz before and these papers are awesome. So I'm really looking forward to this. So all you Holtzy fans, go and grab yourself a bargain because these of course are on sale for the month. So we'll have a flip through this first. Now of course myself plus the other couple of ladies that are on the creative team for November will be making a number of different um, creations with these papers and their chosen products. They'll all have different products as well. So check out what they're making, follow along if you want. You might get some ideas and see what items they've chosen because they'll also be on sale for November. So, let's have a look here. The colours are just gorgeous. So it doesn't actually have the, what they're called on these ones in the book. But I'll show you the other side. It's got some script on it. Beautiful vintage looking style. Looks like there's two of each. So then I've got this one with the alphabet and numbers in different fonts. And on the other side of that one we have this. Glorious vintage style. I've got this one with all these different, they look like tape measures. And on the other side of that, it's like graph paper that's all aged. And we've got this one, men's fine dress shirts. So it's almost like a tailoring page. Yeah, a leading tailor. I'm not sure what I'm making this month either, so I'm going to have a good thing. So I'll turn this one around. It's the other side of the tailing page and it looks like it's got all these shirts that have been folded up and the prices. So that's gorgeous. These huge numbers so they can be cut out and used individually. And on the other side of that page we've got this map page. I've got this one which is looks like a lot of labels. Cigar labels. Are they all cigars? I think they might be. Barmaid, that one says. So they're really cool. You could cut them out and use them as borders. And then on the other side, we've got this beautiful pattern. That's almost Christmassy, that is. The red and greens. And this one. A lot of receipts and different things like that. Again, we've got tailors, fruit farm, different company receipts. Really cool. The other side is this lined paper. It's 
a very different style than any of the papers I've worked with before. This beautiful paper. Red florals by the looks. And the other side is this pattern. So stacks of papers here. This almost looks like a bingo page. So again, they could be cut out individually, used as borders, or left as a whole page. And that has this on the other side. Lovely roses. And we've got more labels. Cigar labels again by the look. They're really neat. They could be fussy cut as well. Other sides, this pattern. And this one's quite steampunky, this one. Watches, clocks and jewellery. The numbers down the bottom, so much can be done with these pages. And the other side of that is this one. So if you had that in a journal, it'd be quite easy to be able to write on this one, which is cool. And this one, which is men exercising by the looks. Swimming. I'm going to have to go through all the books I've found and see what pictures I can find, decide what to make. Love that pattern too, beautiful. And then this is the pages um, in a six by six format. And the other side has some, the backs of them. So it looks like, yeah, two of each of those as well. So they're the backs of those ones. So heaps to work with. We've got the one where they're exercising there. And yeah, the backs again. Sorry, banging everything around here. got the even smaller versions. So cool. These are going to be perfect. Sometimes when you've only got the one sheet of each, it's very, very hard to decide which size, but having um, two sheets of each plus the three different sizes, absolutely awesome. turn the page and these are like journaling card size these ones really really cool there's heaps I can do with all of that so it does say on the front uh, 12 by 12 designs 6 by 6 designs 3 by 3 designs and 3 by 4 designs so heaps and heaps in there so as I said, that they're going to be on sale for the month of November. So go grab them or you can get them at such a good price. Now the chosen products that I decided on to go with, I have here. So I will start with this. I I'd go out of my comfort zone and try something a little different as one of my projects. So I have this. It's a Tim Holtz Ideology, how do you say it? Vignette. Vignette divider draw. So I will unwrap it so we can have a bit of a better look at it. Get my scissors here. So I usually stick to my comfort zone with mainly journals. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to alter something and I saw these and thought that'd be perfect. 
perfect little display shelves. Um, and looking at the papers, I think some of those smaller ones will fit in here perfectly as well. So I think that's going to be great. And it looks like the shelves are removable, which will make it a lot easier when I, if I want to paint or cover. So, and that'll look really cool sitting up on one of my cupboards here. So that's the first chosen product that I got. Then I got these <laughs> and I looked up online everywhere of what people do with these and I have no idea because I I was thinking, are they stencils that you use as stencils or are they decorations? And I think they're decorations, but I might use them as stencils as well. Why not? So these are the Tim Holtz Ideology Stencil Chips and there's 37 pieces. They're thin chipboard stencils displaying letters and numbers. But I don't see why I can't use them as actual stencils as well. Two uses out of them. Oh yeah, so they are sort of thinish, but they do have a nice glossy coating on them. So I think depending on what you're using for your stencils, if you're just going to distress ink through them, you'd be able to wipe them down afterwards. So I might try that. So gorgeous looking though, aren't they? been aged nicely or made to look aged so you've got all your numbers there sorry if there's a bit of glare from the light and then we've got all our letters but yeah I'd really like to try stenciling through them so it must be the whole alphabet and then numbers one to ten one would think and the ampersand if that's what you call that thing <laughs> Good, aren't I? So I think they're going to be a bit of fun. It's deceiving. They look so um, metallic that you don't expect to feel them being sort of cardboard paper sort of stuff, which is really cool because they're nice lightweight. So very easy to be able to adhere to whatever project. And then I grabbed this, which is Tim Holtz Ideology Ruler Ribbon. I thought that was really cool. And I think that's going to go really nicely with some of the papers. And also some of the papers were that Taylor theme. So might have to run with that maybe for one of my projects. We will see what I can hunt up. So it's 36 inches worth there. 914.4 millimetres of it. So that's a fair amount by the looks. I also grabbed these Tim Holtz Ideology Adornments. I thought these looked really cool. They're foundry ones. Charms used as decorative ornaments. Some of these will make really nice dangles could go on the front of a journal or a tag. Yeah, these are beautiful. Nice, thick. Again, they look like they'd be really heavy metal, but they're not. They're nice and light, so they'll be great to work with. I think, they, I, think I chose well. I think all of these items are going to go really, really nicely with those papers. So love those and then I couldn't help myself but grab some stamps so I got the Tim Holtz collection noble gent ones and I'm glad I got those I think they'll go with the theme um, the man who won uh, quite nicely as well as with the papers that I chose so we've got the three faces and the light the suitcase or briefcase there's exploration, thoughts and theories, imagination, wanderlust, proprietor of ideas, vagabond society. I think they're really, really cool. And then the last one of my chosen items was Tim Holtz Ideology Small Talk. So they're 296 stickers. I do have um, his 
clipping stickers and I use these all the time and there's so many in there they're so worth it so I thought I'd grab these ones and again I think these are going to go really nicely with the chosen papers uh, the colors I think will go well so it must be white and black so that's great I mean these can be inked up really nicely as well so it says things like, start doing things you love, have an open heart, I'm happiest when I'm with you. Isn't that sweet? And then we've got the same sayings in the black with the white font. Today is full of possibilities. I feel so lucky. So they're really, really cool. So I'm really happy with what I've chosen. Um... So yeah, it's going to be heaps of fun to work with these. I have no idea really what I'm going to do yet. Very different than what I'm used to doing. But keen to get on and give it a go and see what I can come up with. So I'd love it if you follow me along. And as I said, if you like any of the products that I've chosen or the other ladies have chosen, get on and grab them in the month of November while they're on sale. So thank you very much, Auntie Vera, and thank you everyone for watching. Take care, be safe, and see you again soon. Bye.